Hey, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. We have an unboxing today. The final one for my Recon 1 collection. The final one for my Recon 1 collection. I bought this one on eBay for $78. It's a Recon 1 Large. That's what it should be. Brand new one. CTS6HP DLC. Well, let's get to it. It's not going to be a long one. It's just going to be a little short one. I know you've all seen these before. That's my mini lawman doing the honors today. It's a brand new one. It's supposed to be brand new. There's the box. Barcode. UPC code. So far so good. The extra pocket clip for, for left hand. There's a knife. I always save my boxes. I don't throw away my boxes or abuse them or whatever. I got a place I keep them where they stay like brand new. In case I ever want to resell something later, it always looks better when you have the box. It adds a little bit of value to your to your item. In, at least in my mind, anyway. I know when I buy things used, so I like to get the box. Blade setting center. CTSXHP. Recon 1. Let's test it out. Ooh, nice and smooth. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Very smooth. Another good one. This will be a user. It's going in my uh, EDC drawer. The only one that's not going to be a user is my mini recon. Because I really don't carry those because I like to use my little lawman. That's my favorite little knife. I also have the, uh, what do you call it, the, um, the Mini AK too, but I don't carry that one either. That's just a collector. I don't think I've ever done a video on that one either. Because I, I got it during the time when my video, my uh, computer was down because I spilt a beer on it. Yep, I spilt a beer on my laptop. My, my, great, my daughter bought me a, a new computer. She got me an Apple computer. That's the reason why you're seeing videos from me again. <laughs> Anyway, looks great. This is coming from Ecop USA. Ecop USA. EB. That's the eBay seller I bought it from. Ecop. Buy it brand new. It was seventy-eight dollars and some change. So that completes the collection of my uh, Black Recon ones. I bought the extra large version for $73 in an auction on eBay, brand new, from Freya. And I bought the Mini Recon for $41. It was a used one, but it was like brand new condition, never been used. The only thing that looked used was the box. And it didn't have a pocket clip. A left side pocket clip. It had the right side pocket clip mounted on the knife. Everything looked brand new. There was no scratches or ding, dents or dings or worn out blades or anything like that. The blade looked brand new. Great deal for 41 bucks. So now I have a, a OD green one this size. A large OD green and an extra large OD green. And the three black ones in all three sizes. That'll complete my uh, Recon 1 collection. Only two of them are going to use the extra large and, and this one. Let's, let's weigh it out and see how much it weighs. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. See a little glare. Looks like in the camera. 
5.2 ounces it looks like. 5.2 ounces. 5.2 ounces. Let's see what the book says it's supposed to weigh. Come, this is Special Projects, Lynn Thompson Special Projects for 2016, number 47. The Recons. Large size. Weight is supposed to be 5.2 to 5.3 ounces. Perfect. That's exactly what it is. Blade thickness is 3.5 millimeter. Blade length is 4 inches. Overall length is 9 and 3 eighths inches. The blade steel is CTS XHP. CTS XHP. The handles are made out of American G10. Thick American G10 with a aggressive scales, scale pattern. I guess you'd call it a brick, brick pattern. Rest of brick scale pattern, something like that. It comes with two pocket clips, the left side and the right side. This is the right side right here. Mount the other one mounts on this side. Has a stainless steel lock bar that's Teflon coated and a 6061 aluminum backspacer that's coated also. All the hardware and everything else is coated in Teflon, I believe. The blade itself, I think, is the only part of this knife that's DLC coated, is the blade. The labeling is in like a gold color, like a light gold color. I know sometimes it shows up as silver, but it's actually like a gold color, color so it's black and gold. The blade is hollow ground. This is a Tonto, Tonto American, uh, Lynn Thompson's American Tonto. It's hollow ground with a chisel ground tip. Reason why I like these because they're thick all the way through, all the way up to the tip. That's one reason why it's one of my favorites. Excellent knife. Highly recommend these. I've been carrying these ever since they were in Oz 8. I got an Oz 8 set also. That I used to carry. The Oz 8 set, I removed the black coating because it was Teflon coating and I used um, clean strip stripper, paint stripper to remove it. I took the knife all the way apart and put it, put the, the parts that I wanted to strip in a glass container and then sprayed the clean strip on them real thick and heavily and then I, I, closed, I closed up the container and I let it sit for about 45 minutes. Come back to it, took a wooden popsicle stick and just lightly scraped off the um, the coating. The coating will bubble up and you can just take it off. On these, I wouldn't take this off though. I wouldn't even try to take it off because I really like the DLC coating. The DLC coating is not like the Teflon coating. This is a very durable coating. If you ask me, it's probably the best black coating that you could put on a blade. I don't know if it comes, I don't know if they make DLC in other colors. That's the only one I'm, I'm uh, familiar with is the black coating. It looks like, it looks like a lot like a, a bluing finish on a, on a firearm. That's the best way I could describe it. It's smooth like the metal. I love the Recon one because I love the way it feels in my hand. I'm the type of person, if a knife doesn't feel good in my hand, I won't like the knife. The knife has to totally, I don't care what size the knife is, I don't care if it's a mini knife or a large knife, extra large, whatever. It has to fit in my hand. If it doesn't fit in my hand right, then I won't like it. I won't use it. And pretty much all the cold steel knives feel good in your hand. The only one that I've had that I, I sold immediately after I got it, because I really didn't like it, was the Mini Voyager. The Mini Voyager model, because the way the handle's made, it comes like here, then it has like a part that comes out right here, and only your, and your hand can't fit totally inside the, the grip. You got a little hump. If they didn't have the hump, it'd probably be a nice knife, but... That little hump, it was like your hand has to sit, sit on top of a hump, and that was really weird for me. I did not like that. So that's the only Mini that I don't like that Cold Steel makes that I know of, is the, is the Mini Voyager. All the other ones are very nice. Uh, the Mini Holdout, Holdout 3, I think it's called. The, the Mini Lawman is my favorite. Uh, the Tough Light, Tough Light's another great one, especially for a low-budget one. And... Um, the Mini Recon feels really good in your hand. So, so does uh, um, the AK-47. 
Mini AK. That one feels really good in your hand too. So if you like minis, any of those are really good. I know they're discontinuing a lot of, a lot of the different models that they have. They're discontinuing the Mini Recon. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing the Mini AK though. So I think that one's going to still be around. I know the Tough Light, they're still having that because it's new for this year with a whole bunch of different colors. But uh, yeah, I think they're keeping the Mini Lawman too. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. But I know they are getting rid of the Mini um, the Mini Recon. The Mini Recon is probably the toughest one out of all of them because it has a 3.5 millimeter blade. And they came in three different blade styles. You would be able to give them the spear point, uh, clip point bowie type blade, or the, the one like I have, which is a Tonto blade. I like the Tontos. Out of the in the Recon series, I like the Tonto blades the best. Same thing with the Voyager series. Those are my two favorite blades for those two series. I have, I have these in Oz 8 and all the different blade types, and that's why I know which one I like the best. Because I've tried, I've tried the spear point, I've tried the... Uh, the Bowie type, and with the Voyager, they I even have the Vicero and the and the I think the Vicero and the, and the Bowie clip blade also in Oz Eight. And I always like the re, I always like the Tonto the best. Even the oldest ones, before they had the um, Triad Luck, always like the Tontos. Why? Because I just like the Tonto blade. I'm a Tonto fan. I got Tonto Cold Steel Tonto fixed blades also. I got Oyabans and Cobans. So you know. It's just a blade. It's just a blade type. It's my my preference. Lynn Thompson himself, he likes the Vaquero blades because that one's basically designed just to be a fighting blade. I like these because they're tough. These are some durable blades. These are some really tough blades. You you'll see, you can see all sorts of videos on the internet with people doing all sorts of crazy things with these eyes, and they can take it. But anyway, that's about it for today. I just want to show you this one before I put it in my EDC drawer and it doesn't look new anymore. <laughs> and I start using it. I'll probably do some fun music videos with all three of them in it. So you guys can see all three of them. Maybe, maybe with my OD green ones too, do all my recons. All five of them. I have five new ones. Excellent knife. Highly recommend these. Balance is good too. Excellent. That's it for today, fellas. Guys and gals, anybody who's interested. Large size Recon 1. Gonna be in my EDC drawer for 2017. Peace out, Stiletto.